all good base stealers are either really fast or really smart. I'm Sam Perlaza for InsideBaseball.com and I'm going to tell you what else I think they are. They have the ability to put themselves in what I call a comfort zone. So he could be the fastest guy in the world and get thrown out stealing bases or you could be a mid-range guy and always get your stolen base. The reason that happens is they are able to put themselves in a comfort zone. And by that I mean if you're going to steal second or you're going to steal third, your mental thought should be 100% on going to that next base. If you are split 50-50 whether the pitcher is going to try a pickoff throw and am I going to be able to get to second base, chances are your jump is going to be less than what it should be and you're going to give this guy behind the plate a better chance to throw you out. So what they do is they usually get themselves out here in a certain area where they feel very comfort, very comfortable that this guy can't pick him off if he throws over and I can still get a good lead to steal the base. So they're going to get in an area right in here whether it be a little shorter or could be a little longer depends on the guy where they feel comfortable they're in a nice little zone they say to themselves I can get back so I'm 100 percent committed to stealing that base alright so what you can't do just remember this you can't divide yourself 50 50 60 40 because your jump is one of the most uh, vital things on your stolen base where you get off on time you know you got to get off on time it isn't going to matter if you got a big lead and you're late with your jump you're going to get thrown out so put yourself in what I call a comfort zone far enough out far enough back where you feel pretty comfortable that he's not going to throw over and you can get your best jump get in the comfort zone steal the bag